Hey guys, welcome back to Life of Creativity and today we'll be designing this really nice wooden box. So wooden box completely empty just plain and boring pretty sure and I want to design it I am very bored of it I really want to I got many good ideas for it in fact I'm so excited as well to paint it I'm gonna try doing this neon theme I saw this neon theme going around on TikTok where they paint it all black and then they do this like drawing thing and then they make it look all neon like it, oh, I'm just too excited guys that's what you need to know so I can't literally wait, I just want to get onto this video and start it guys. And also guys, check out my Instagram, it's going to be over here on the side as you can see right there. So that is my Instagram, I'm just scrolling down and scrolling up. I've pasted quite a lot of things on there and I just want you guys to check it out and follow me on there so you can be updated with everything we post. So yeah guys, and those also on Instagram we do post a lot of behind the scenes and like other like stuff and like you know little updates and stuff so do check that out if you do have instagram otherwise just follow us on i mean just subscribe to uh, subscribe to our channel on youtube and you'll be updated whenever we upload a video you know and yeah guys let's just start let's get started so what i'm gonna start by doing is getting some black paint and just putting it everywhere on this thing we're gonna act like this is a canvas we're just gonna go crazy and paint everything okay the thing the whole thing be careful try not to flicker yourself with the paint oh it's a nice very nice black very shiny and glossy very thick as well I'm just gonna get the edges first. I will do the whole box in, box in fact. You know, the black actually makes it more mysterious. Ooh. Yep, just gonna put the paint everywhere. Make sure I get all the corners and edges. Mm -hmm. And guys, I'm not gonna wait for this to dry. I'm gonna, in fact, just get the blow dryer and just blow dryer it. Yep, I'm just gonna make it neat at least. I can do this box. Okay, so the top is technically all painted, like so. Oh, nice and shiny, like guys. And um, now I just need to go get the blow dryer and just to be honest, get it dry. So I'll be back, guys. Okay, so now, now that I have done that, we're gonna go on to the forward, the front. Paint everything black. Literally, guys, go crazy. Even if it's the most thickest layers to the thinnest. Let's go crazy with it, guys. And, guys, I have never in my life painted anything full black before like this. So this will be the first. I usually like really nice, bright, like, out there colours type thing. And I am using a lot of black paint today. So this whole tub is probably going to go on. Most likely to be gone actually. And yeah. So I'm just gonna paint this whole bottom bit. And I'll be back once this is dried. Okay, now it is dried. Let's move on to the sides, shall we? I kinda got some paint on there from this, but you trying to take the mic? Okay, we need more paint guys. More and more paint. Uh much as possible, guys, as much as possible. Get a nice line of paint here and paint. Ooh. Okay, so paint the whole thing, guys. The whole thing. If you want, you could do a second coat, but I think black is really dark, anyways. So it doesn't really need a second coat. And yeah, you know what guys, to speed everything up, let's just get all the sides and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so now the whole thing is now black bottom to the top. Okay, we're not exactly going to move on quite yet. 
we still got a bit more to do with this. So I'm gonna open it up and voila, we're back to white. Can you believe this guys? We're back to white already. All this effort, honestly. Okay, now what I'm going to do with the black is I'm just gonna, you know, I wanna outline this black. This, this, this. Just this guys. Just wanna outline this. And like that guys so I'll be back once I paint the first bit okay so now the painting part is over we're gonna do more painting but this is what I have I've traced out the outlines can you see yep you can see all of that I've done the outline now for the decorating part the most exciting part guys so what I need to first do is sketch out what I am planning to do on this box so I'll be back with the pencil okay so I don't know if you can see that 100% well but I've done my drawing you can actually see it pretty well apart from this corner too well but um let's try getting close up this and so basically guys um I just already done the drawing and now what now I need to do is get some white acrylic paint Let's get this going, shall we? Okay. Okay, so what I need to do is get the um, uh, white, and I'm just gonna have to take my time. Oh, there's a fly. Okay, I'm gonna take my time, slowly, I'm gonna outline every little bit of this. Look what I have here guys. So I just did a little thin round of um, white paint. And now I need to get yellow. This is for the moon and stars. Oh. <laughs> Let's get a bit of that white mixed into that. We need a very soft yellow guys. A very soft yellow indeed. Let's get a nice yellow here guys. Just mixing and mixing and mixing. Um. I think this is about right. Let me see, guys. Because I don't want it to be too bright. I need it to be quite very, very light, in fact. Because it's supposed to give that effect of like a neon design, you know? Okay, just gonna clean off this brush. Let's dip it in. And go around. Ooh, this yellow's nice. I like it a lot. So. Basically, I did not show you guys a quick um, fast forward of it because just so it has that nice like effect, you know, it's gonna it's gonna look so much better than this, guys. Don't you worry. I have to do this around the whole thing. You know, I'm gonna give you guys a just a small quick. Read, um. So this is what I have so far, guys. Um, I need to do the uh, light yellow in the inside and the outside so this is the fast forwards guys
Okay guys, I'll be back once we get like the moon done, the stars done, not the clouds though. Like just with the outline. Ready? Ooh. So now that the the light yellow is done, I need to go get a dark this dark I would say yellow and I need to dark chase everything. So let me start off by doing the moon. So I'm just gonna this is definitely gonna take a couple of layers, so I have to make sure I do a nice because this is the final last like final final like colour type. So I need to make sure I get it nicely guys, nice and thick. So I need to apply it nicely. So guys, this is what I have. I um, so basically I can do a couple of more layers, but I think it's gonna take a little more time. Now it's on to the blue clouds. That's all that's left after this, and we're mostly uh, done. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the blue, and I'm gonna do its first outline around the white. So I'm just gonna do that. And I'm pretty sure it's light enough. It doesn't need to be too light. Like that's gonna be too dramatic then the white but I just do that mm -hmm. get more of the same color if it's too thin then I'm gonna go over it like so and here's a quick fast forward of me doing the cloud Guys, after such a long time of making this neon like design with the moon and stuff, I really like it. I love how it turned out, guys. It's literally amazing. The inside is not too fancy, but either way, it's still really cute. I can't wait to be using this. I think I might do end up after this video doing a bit more coats, and you'll see how it looks on the thumbnail, guys. So. 
stay tuned for that and yeah guys that's all for today i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe like press the notification bell on and comment down below if you want me to do more DIYs like this because i had so much fun today and i will definitely do this again i do got another box for you guys so if you want to see me like that which is right here guys which is right here if you want to know like how to design this then just like check out my videos guys and yeah guys Stay creative and don't stop smiling. Goodbye.